Hello and welcome to some more week 13 Mazda. Not much to race this week and record, so uh, good old Mazda <laughs> is a uh, good one to fall back on. Kind of a late decision for me to record here. I originally was just going to do this on my own, but then it occurred to me that, you know, not much, uh, mu not much else to do and to uh, upload at the time, at this time, so... Sure, we'll go ahead and uh, have this one on record, so whenever I do terrible, everybody can know about it. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, we are the number four in a 2.4k strength of field. I assume this is top split. Got to tiptoe around here until the tires get heated up. And... Uh, I didn't mention it yet. Summit Point. We are at Summit Point. I guess I should mention that. Especially for those who are not fami as familiar with the uh, road side of things. Be good to know where we actually are. <laughs> so coming around here in the last couple of corners so we can get our hot lap started. I just currently have the advanced iRacing default setup in the car with uh, a, a fuel change because you just need the minimum fuel in order to make it the full distance in this one. So I guess we'll have all-time optimal up. Not going to be able to hit that because we don't have draft, but... We'll try to get as close as we can. Still have to be a little bit careful entering and exiting corners right now. This corner in particular, very easy to go wide on exit. I've been having some trouble with that one. Kind of just getting the angle wrong. Uh, overdrove that. That stinks. Not the smoothest right there. It's okay. We'll have another shot at it for lap number two. And I don't think we lost all that much anyway. That said, top split here are going to have a lot of fast guys. I'm sure they're hitting their marks perfectly. Two seconds off my optimal. One more lap. Switch this to session optimal. That way we can judge uh, how fast we are compared to the first lap. Yeah, seventh right now. Not the greatest. But I think I can do better. Top spot is 121.3. It's very fast. Did that a little bit better that time. Did this a lot better this time. You can see how much time we lost last time through because of that messed up corner. Kind of messed up that though, just to do a nice little follow up so I can mess up this sector in different ways. All kinds of new ways to make mistakes. But we will still, uh, so long as I hit this final corner, be a couple tenths up. I didn't really hit it that great, but still uh, going to be about two and a half tenths. Uh, closer to two. Two tenths up on the last lap. Not fantastic. But that's okay. Not gonna have anything uh, for the leaders unless they all run into each other or something. Yeah, wow, I, I could have been a lot better. Hurting a little bit. We'll just try to survive. Try to get ourselves a solid finish. 
keep it in the top 10 for sure, I think would be a, a good finish. I wouldn't be too uh, upset with that. So, are we going to be able to go soon, or are we going to wait for people to not hit ready? Oh my goodness, there are some messes out here already in qualifying. It's always a little bit worry worrisome when guys are getting incidents all alone, and then they're going to be put on the track next to you. So <laughs> they're still going up too, just watching this screen, watching the numbers get higher. Here's some guys. A little weird. Getting me a little worried. But like I said, just got the advanced setup in. Fuel, absolute minimum. It'll be enough. And we'll see if the tires come into play. Sometimes at the end of these races, even though, even though they're kind of sprints, you can start to feel the effects of the tires. See uh, how that ends up feeling by the end of it. Waiting on your incident leader at the moment. Oh, uh, that guy just left. Why did he just leave? He did it on purpose, too. It's not like he disconnected. That's odd. He decided that because he was not on pole, he wanted to quit. <laughs> I doubt that's why. He might be coming back. He might have just needed to leave and come back to fix some sort of error or glitch or something. He doesn't have much much time to do it, though. So for his sake, I hope he's able to make it back. Sorry, I had to fix something real quick. I don't know if that shows up in any way <laughs> on the recording, but I did. Switch a window over. Right now we're starting P10, so the goal of the race, just try to move forward from where we start. And we should do that by default if uh, this guy doesn't come back. That's a strange one. Qualifies and qualifies very well, and then just leaves. Not sure. And we're going to have to wait the whole time, because not everybody's... Readying up or finishing their qualifying. That's all right. We only got about 10 seconds left anyway. Really hoping I don't get run over or anything. These races can always kind of be a bit of a bloodbath. Seems like more often than not. More often than not, you don't <laughs> make it through lap one without getting run into in some way or having to dodge something. Especially if I'm going to be in P10. Could be a problem, but... Interestingly, huge gap between 7th and 8th. We have like 4 tenths, and then all within 2 tenths right here. So I wonder if like this is the cutoff between people on the advanced set, and then people with their own like custom sets or something. I don't know if that's true or not. But it's interesting to see people grouping together like that. So maybe a potential explanation. Oh, the guy's back. Is he going to be able to get on the grid in time? I guess, will it wait for him? Probably. At least until the grid countdown is done. But I think he should be able to make it. He's got a full minute to load in. Lots of B-class around us, and uh, B-2s and B-1s, and a C.2, or a C-2.7, I, I am also looking at on the race labs you can't see. So, a little concerning, some of the safety ratings I see around us. It's usually the case that I'm one of the higher safety ratings in here. I have an A3.8. I think... Uh, a lot of people that do these Mazda races, probably often, it's not even a reflection of them as drivers, but more the fact that this is just very high contact racing. It's like looking at someone that does a lot of the uh, modifieds on paved oval. You'll need to get on with this. P10. Just the nature of that racing. Green, green, green. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Alright. 
Let's see if we can survive. Kind of got stacked up there on the inside a little bit. Am I clear? I'm clear. Alright, that's good. Definitely don't want to be side by side coming up through this. I see smoke. Are we good? I think we're good. I'm going to give some space. Guys, go into our outside for some reason. We're good though. You know what? Pleasantly surprised so far. Usually there's been absolute bloodshed already. That guy had a bad corner. I don't think I want to get side by side with him though. Not right now. I'm going to let him figure it out and not lose a ton of time. He is the number one, so theoretically he should be pretty darn fast. Are we going to get uh, a dive from the 13 behind us? He is the C 2.7. Nope. We're good. Appreciate it, uh, Car 7. Probably sarcasm right there. But maybe not. Maybe people are actually being polite. Stranger things have happened. Still underdriving a little bit as the tires need to come in. Very dangerous corner. Lots of uh, accidents can happen there. Guy head almost goes wide. And we got some. Uh, we got some space behind us. I like that. Makes me feel a little bit better. And this has been very nice and clean so far. There's still time, but but I can be happy with that for now. Really parking it for some reason. Turn one. Maybe he had to because of something going on ahead. It can be a bit of a tough pass here. Guy behind us caught again as we're doing a lot of checking up. He gets the grass a bit, we're gonna get a run on him. That should be enough for us to overtake, I think. Alright, got it done. I was able to uh, break late enough to kind of clear him, but not lose uh, my line. Feeling good about how that went. Not a great corner for me there. Had a lot of extra speed from the draft. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. That's half distance. Fuel levels are fine.
Whew, working the wheel. Ooh, eight gets the left sides in the grass. He keeps it moving though. It doesn't break too much of his momentum. Something happened behind us. The guy that was back there is no longer back there. Oh, how about that? Fastest lap. 21, 21. Not trying to dive it in or anything. Yeah, we got like two seconds behind us. Something happened to the one, maybe went off track or had a slowdown or something. Cooked it a little bit. We're fine, though. Had to hold on to it a little bit. It can be tricky, because you're entering these corners faster than you do in practice with the slipstream. So it can be tricky to know exactly how far you can go. Will want that draft. Draft is pretty strong in these cars. So we have to do a little bit of that weaving. The car in P5 just set the fastest lap. 1 minute 20.955. Get through there pretty well. Happy with that. Oh, something happening up ahead. Someone might be off course. Can't really see. I think we had an off track up there. That blue car. That could set off a chain of events. If we got guys side by side all of a sudden. Because we were single file for a long time. Now guys are bunching together, which could mean danger. So I have to keep my eyes open. Don't want to lose my P7. I'm happy with that. I wanted the top 10. We're solidly in there. That's for now. Not quite on the inside of this pink car. Oh, someone way off pace down there. Didn't really feel great with my positioning there. I don't think that was going to work. So, kind of just uh, get my car in that position. See if I can make a make mistake, but not really seriously going for it. Really slamming the brakes and that little kink. I guess is what you could call that. Okay, stacking up. Good though. Final lap, all right. And that Simpsons car had a mistake, so they're going to be side by side in front of us. Is this where I want to be? Okay, just barely breaking time to avoid making contact after they made contact. We will move ahead one spot. Hmm. 
Mm. Gotta play this smart. He's getting loose. Alright, we will get around. He spun it, I think. Or at least went all the way to the grass. Alright, I feel like we hit the intimidate button. <laughs> Good old NASCAR Thunder. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Hey, we've made a couple of passes this final lap. That's pretty solid. Alright, I'm very happy with that. I think we actually pulled ourselves into a P5. Top 5 finish. Indeed, all right. That's awesome. Good race, good win. Solid work. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be doing that. I think that would actually still count. So maybe I shouldn't be being a butthead. Sorry, I need for a bit. Oh, the guy that left and then came back. One. But he's uh but he's glad he came back. All right. <laughs> we'll uh park it now. Stop being a dunderhead. P5. I wanted a top 10, got ourselves a, a P5, gaining 5 spots through the race. I'm very happy with that run. We also got ourselves a 0x, which I'm also very happy about. Would love to get my A3.8 into the fours and overall you know for a Mazda race that was pretty good clean race um, based on uh, you know relative to my expectations we will see what did happen though here in the incidents that one yeah, that seemed that seemed prediction code E because it looks like they're not touching, and then, yeah, about, I don't know, four inches of space here without them touching, and uh, it decided they did. Texas and Midwest, so you would think it wouldn't be bad. I was expecting, you know, international racers, but now the net could just get some there. I think uh, this guy's still... Should give a little more room. But it, at the end of the day, it shouldn't happen at all. That's very unfortunate. Got blue car overdriving it in there. I think it scared the 10 into making a mistake as well. Maybe not. Maybe the 10 was just unsettled under braking as well. This happens a whole lot, though especially early on into this corner because it's a pretty heavy braking zone after guys are going pretty fast and so you get kind of these stack ups and then guys come in much faster and you get uh, some wrecks so bump drafting interestingly And that's kind of just sticking your nose where it doesn't belong for Nickelodeon. Yeah, he kind of like protects the inside here. Just hyper aggressive, I think, for the 19. Probably didn't really need to be done like that. Yeah, that's not called for. <laughs> Can't be doing that. Blue car kind of just turns in on the six there. I think the six is pretty far in. It's pretty close to the curb. Just bouncing off of each other. Man, that Nickelodeon car is really aggressive. He's like. Holding him out wide to enter the corner. Not the worst. I mean, he could be farther to the left as well, but... Just some, uh, aggressive racing style from him. In addition to what we saw earlier in the race. 
And then the 16 will self-spin. That's rough. Here we saw this right in front of us. And I tried to take advantage. I kind of saw it coming. And so you'll see I break into a very late apex. Because I'm expecting this guy to slide up into him. And then leaving it open on the bottom. And you know maybe I can cash in for two. But what happens instead is when they hit it bounces them off. And so I have to get on the brakes because he's uh, about to be in my path so they did end up hitting but unfortunately was in my in my way so I couldn't get both of them at the time but I got both of them later so that counts this is the final lap a 14 going around disappointing for him and uh, that is the end of the race I do want to see how we ended up getting around the Simpsons car. Lots of cartoons in this race. We got Powerpuff Girls, we got Simpsons, we had Nickelodeon. So I guess uh, he just gets on the throttle a little hard because he's just kind of pitching it through there and that allows us to get around. He holds on to it so he doesn't lose everything, but not what he wanted for sure. But it works out for us, putting the pressure on him. Who knows if that actually is what caused it, but... And we put the pressure on him, waited for our right moment, and it paid off with a spot. And that's what allowed us to get ourselves a P5. Very happy with that. So, pretty fun race. That was a good one. I liked that a lot. We didn't die on the first lap, or for the next 7 or 8, for that matter. Alright. Thanks for watching. That'll do it for this one. We are about to uh, exit week 13 and get back to some of the more normal stuff. And uh, hope to see you there. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.